Hey guys, how are you today? I'm just driving in my car, you know, figured we'd do another car chat. And as I was pondering and thinking, like I do, um, and after watching several other creators' videos, I came up with an idea all by myself. Didn't get any inspiration from anybody else. But before I get into that, I'm about to go out of my way to Target. It's about an hour away. I really need a new oven mitt um, because my old one just kind of got burnt and then there was a hole in it. And I mean, I got it at the dollar store. So I'm really surprised that it lasted for 10 years. Um, but now it's time to get a new one. And I decided it has to be from Target. And I figured while I'm driving for an hour conveniently, I will have this discussion with you about these important topics that I love to come up with myself and do not ever piggyback off of other creators. Really so crazy to me how so many commentary channels are so reactionary. They don't do their research, they don't do the legwork, and they just put a video up so that they can be the first one to do it. And they end up having to come back on and apologize and correct themselves. Now, I'm not saying I'm doing anything right, but I take pride in my research. So today, I'm gonna be the first one to expose Peter Mon. Um, yeah, somebody sent me a clip. I didn't even bother looking up the clip myself um, or any other context to it. And I'm gonna do a reaction to this clip because I'm not reactionary. I do all the research. Do you guys, do you guys remember Stacy's mom? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marissa. If you're new here, as you can see, we're on a different little setting here. Thought I'd switch it up a little bit. Um, just remember this video, <laughs> if I'm busting balls, it's all in good fun not meant to hate anybody, not meant to bash anybody, but today we really need to do this video um, because there's a lot of stuff going on and I am ready to call it out. I have no personal vendetta against Brit, um, nor do I think she's a bad, horrible human being. But I do think that she gets away with a lot. Um, she has an audience that's an echo chamber. Um, so I feel like she, you know, nobody ever brings to her attention her friends, obviously, when she's not doing something right. So, if you want to hear about what Miss Britt got herself into recently with Peter Mon, then keep watching. Okay, guys, let's get serious here. <laughs> So, what happened was, if you guys don't know, I'm going to be putting clips in here. So, first thing I'm going to show you is a clip of Radiant Brit that I found on her channel talking about reactionary YouTubers. And, um, <laughs> let's just roll this clip. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about, and then we'll come back and discuss. But, keep this clip in your head, because it's going to be very important later on in the video. So, let's watch. And, you know, I'm someone who really pays attention to how YouTubers behave because I find, I find it very interesting. And I not only find it interesting because I have a channel of my own, but I always found it interesting when I was a subscriber and I didn't upload any content. It was something that I always would notice, like these little sort of things that some YouTubers do. And something that I found more recently is YouTubers that are reactionary. I've also noticed with a lot of commentary channels, commentary channels will speak on something way ahead of time. They'll speak on something way ahead of time and have to come back and 
make corrections. Instead of not jumping the gun just to be the first one out with a video, do the research, put in the legwork, and you might not be first and you might not be fifth, but your information will be more accurate and you won't have to be that reactionary person who's always having to come back and fix things or say sorry or anything like that. You know what I mean? And I'm going to do an updated video on Cassandra Bankson because she came out with a video and she pretty much apologized for a bunch of stuff and kind of talked about some different things. I didn't really think her video was all that great in my personal opinion. She did apologize for some things. And the thing that I picked up on was that she seems to be one of those people that is very reactionary. And a lot of the things that she was apologizing for could have been avoided if she would have just done a little bit more research and looked into things before you come to your platform and, and uh, hold on, hold on, I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone else, I'm not saying that I'm, you know, doing everything right because I'm definitely not. If I take my responsibility seriously and I have 10,000 subscribers, why is it that YouTubers that have over a million can't take that responsibility seriously? What is that? What is up with that? I would love to know what you guys think about this. Okay guys, so as you can see, Brit is very against being a reactionary YouTuber. You know, she's obviously putting down commentary channels that jump the gun. They want to be the first one to put the video out. A lot of people call those T channels because they're like the first ones to break the story. You know what I mean? And they don't really put much research or thought or opinion into the video because as soon as something happens it's like boom 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 they're just giving you the information or the tea you know what I mean which is nothing wrong with that that's a whole vibe you know what I mean I love tea channels it's a vibe but Brit is obviously I have to turn this up a little bit hopefully the air is not too loud Brit for her it's not a vibe um for her she's too good for tea channels She's too good for drama channels. She clearly thinks that people who are very reactionary um, and have to come back and correct themselves are beneath her. Now, I'm not trying to be nasty here. Britt is saying this stuff herself. So, what is my problem is that she acts like she's better than everybody else. And this has been my problem with her from the start. And I don't have a personal vendetta against her. This is about her channel and her content, okay? And I know people think, oh, like, they love to come over and just be like, you're jealous of Brit. You're jealous of Brit. No. I'm a commentary, drama, tea, whatever you want to call me. I'm all wrapped into one, <laughs> okay? I'm just giving my thoughts on what I see. And I feel like Brit gets away with so much, and I don't understand why. Okay, I don't understand why. So, she's clearly against reactionary YouTubers because they jump the gun, they don't do the research, they don't do the legwork. Okay, you heard her say that. She likes to observe YouTube behaviors. Well, Britt, how come you're not observing your own behavior? Because what happened recently was one of her subscribers who clearly didn't do her any favors, whoever this subscriber was, you totally messed up okay you didn't do Brit any favors with this one you didn't do her any favors whoever sent her this clip but I find it very interesting that somebody sent her a clip now this wasn't even Peter Bond's video somebody sent her a clip of a video from mysterious T and I'm gonna show you where she doesn't even know who the clip came from. She didn't even bother to look up the entire video. She literally just went by this one clip from a part of somebody else's video, okay, of Peter Mon saying when he was in a relationship with his husband, which he's been with his husband for so long. I mean, this is years ago. This must be, I think they said he was, uh, they got together in 2008. That's how long ago this happened. And he said that his dog was very aggressive. He couldn't even let his mother come over. He had the dog for 11 years um, and he had to put the dog down um, because he couldn't have a relationship. His boyfriend, who's now husband, couldn't move in. So they ended up having to put this dog down. Now, in this one clip from Mysterious T, the only thing said in it was, I'm not putting another healthy dog down. Um, 
in regards to PP, their dog, and was like having health issues. So he was comparing that where his husband was like, um, well, what do we do if we have to make the decisions? And he's like, I'm not putting a dog down. So Britt gets that clip from somebody and makes an entire video reacting to it. Now I'm going to show you, she turns on the camera before she even knows whose video this was. So somebody sent her a clip and she didn't even know who the YouTuber was that made this video and put the clip together. So not only did she not know who it was, she didn't even watch the entire video because she said it was two hours long. So she just took this one clip, reacted to it, and made her decision and put that out to her audience, okay? Saying it was despicable, she can't believe that other um, YouTubers, you know, they get away with this and then while one person gets crucified. I'm going to show you the clip. Just watch what she has to say about this one little clip and we'll come back. After seeing this video, like I'm having trouble finding the words to say because I'm just so shocked that this flew under the radar. Why didn't everyone talk about this? And especially coming off of the uh, issue with Nikki Filippi and Dan Filippi, I covered that on my channel and I'm still watching them. I haven't done a recent, a really recent video on them, but I am keeping my eye on them. After coming off of that, to see this video, it's just shocking to me. Like, Peter is not a nobody. People know who Peter Mon is. So for this to fly under the radar, I have a lot of questions. I wish I knew who did this video because I would give them credit. It almost looks like uh, Mysterious T, but I can't say for sure. The only reason I'm saying Mysterious T is because of the black and white kind of swirly um, background that you'll see on this. Oh, it was Mysterious T. So um, it was 11 hours ago. I just searched the title that I saw in the video clip was shocking to me as someone who, you know, Peter pretty much seems to be unproblematic and he's so loud about keeping everyone else in check and calling others out to hear that he put down a dog at 11 years old because he couldn't have a relationship is absolutely inexcusable and disgusting. I don't care what kind of Peter Mon fans come in my comment section. That is deplorable, inexcusable, gross, and out of control. So now, the reason that I am making this video too is because we have to keep the same energy. I don't care if someone seems unproblematic and I don't care if someone else seems problematic. If they both do the same thing, in this case, the action of putting down a healthy dog instead of adopting them out or finding, you know, um, a dog trainer or any of the other solutions that could be had before putting the dog down, it needs to be called out. I am so tired of people letting person A fly under the radar and then person B gets absolutely ridiculed for the same behavior. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling a little bit in this video, but you guys know how I feel about animals and especially when it comes to something like this that is so easy to find a solution for. I hope that Peter's fans start calling him out on this. This video has only 918 views. I'll link Mysterious T's video down below if you guys wanna watch it in its entirety, it is two and a half hours. I don't know what else is in that video, so I, I can't speak to anything else, but this. So Brit doesn't like it when other people are not held accountable to the same standard that others are. And I feel like that's the exact same thing that happens with Brit. She's not held to the same standards as others are. Let's use for an example what just happened with Tira Nicole. Did she jump the gun? Okay, Tira Nicole jumped the gun making an assumption about Bambi being a sock account. Okay. By the way, Tira Nicole, I just got a notification. <laughs> that she did a video on this okay so i will link that video down below i started watching it but i needed to get this filmed and i was like you know what i'm not even gonna watch her video i'm gonna do my video and then i'll watch hers after to see like if our opinion like compares or whatever so bx beast boy just did a video on this too so i will link both of them down below and i am i have respect for that for both of them calling radiant brit out because there's so many people who never call her out for anything and I just think it's 
you know, really awesome that they actually made a video. And I encourage you, if Brit is somebody that you like and you're a YouTuber, the right thing to do in this situation would be to make a video about it and call out this hypocrisy and manipulation and lies because that's what I feel like is going on here. Hypocrisy, manipulation, and lies. And, you know, it's very, it'll be very disappointing to me if more people don't come out and call out this bad behavior. Um, I, I doubt her friends are going to get on and talk about it, you know, because who wants to call out their own friend, which is understandable, but I'm just saying. So I'd be very surprised if anybody else even makes the video on this, but I really think that's the right thing to do because clearly she's in the wrong in this situation and no manipulation tactics can get you out of it, girl. Okay. None. So she's pretty much bashing the crap out of Peter Mon in this video saying it's despicable. It's disgusting. She's shocked. She can't believe he put a healthy dog down just so he can have a relationship. She spins this whole narrative about Peter Mon to her audience of people. Now this first video is at 4,000 views as of right now. Okay. So 4,000 people are watching her spin this story when she literally has one clip of Peter Mon in somebody else's video. And now she didn't even bother to watch the whole video. How does she know that Mysterious T later on in the video put another clip or something that gives more context? You wouldn't know. She wouldn't know. Okay? I know you're probably going to watch this, but you wouldn't know if there was more context in that video because you didn't bother to watch the whole thing and you even admitted to that. Okay. But you're all about doing the research, taking your time and doing the legwork. You've talked about it in multiple videos before and you pride yourself on that. You don't care about being the first video out. Well, apparently in this situation, Britt, you cared about being the first video out because you did zero research. You looked at a tiny clip. You had no context and you made an entire video around it. Um, hashtagging Peter Vaughn. So now when people go look at Peter Vaughn, hashtag this video, that video is going to come up and how do they know, you know, what else to think? You know what I mean? You're, you're pushing this narrative on your audience and your audience trusts and respects you. So they're going to believe what you're saying. And that's a big issue. It's a big problem. And if it's not okay for other people to manipulate and spin narratives, it's not okay for Brit either. And I know if you're a fan of her, you're not going to like this video, but guess what? It's the reality. She is wrong in this situation because now I'm going to play a clip for you guys of what happens after this video is put out. Okay. So watch this clip now and then we'll come back. I sped it up. Okay. So it doesn't take forever because I have like three different parts of videos in this video. I'm really trying, like, I really wanted to put a like clear video together for you guys to see the whole picture because it's very hard for people to believe sometimes that Brit has done anything wrong. So I'm trying to stay level headed in this video, stick to the criticism, stick to the facts, do my research as everybody loves to tell me, but no one seems to tell Brit to do her research. You know, talk about keeping the same energy People bashed Tira and drug her to the ground. The viewers dragged her around through the mud for making a mistake about Bambi. She had to sit on a live. There was a whole live we did explaining what she did wrong. And she sat there and she took it from everybody for hours. For hours. Even Britt herself did a video, two videos, when the whole Bambi and the um, sock puppet count and... Tira came out. Conveniently, Brit, who also has done a video before about creators needing conflict for content. Okay. This is the hypocrisy that is constantly going on here that I don't understand how nobody sees. She did a video about using conflict for content. And then what happens? The whole sock thing comes out where, uh, Tira accuses Bambi of being a sock account. Bambi says, no, Tira should have done more research. She kind of jumped the gun on that one and she admitted that and we all know it's not Bambi now, but 
She got dragged through the fucking mud for that. Okay? By everybody. And now, Brit has literally done the same thing. Jumped the gun, accused Peter Mon of something, okay? Who all of you guys, everybody says that this can ruin your a career when you do false allegations like this. So if nobody calls her out, I'm going to be extremely disappointed. Extremely disappointed. And I'm not saying you have to bash her. I'm not saying she needs to be canceled. I don't believe in cancel culture. I don't believe in bashing people. But I do believe that you can call out someone's hypocrisy and wrongdoing. And I feel like if everybody wants to keep the same energy and call out Tira, call out this person, call out that person, Brit is not exempt. And you, there's no way around this one that she is in the wrong. So let's watch this clip of the aftermath after her first video is posted. And we'll be back again. Hey guys, it's Britt. Tonight I'm here to share with you a part two to the video that I posted on Peter Mon. I've done a little bit more digging and I had some updated thoughts. So if you're interested, please keep watching. In that video, it was a clip that was sent to me and I reacted to it. And I, always willing to admit when I'm wrong, I should have done more research. However, on Peter's vlog channel, his content is sort of hard to you know, do any research on because his titles are so vague and he uploads at least an hour, if not longer, of vlog footage every single day. So this was not something where you could just type in into YouTube and get the answer that you needed. So that being said, I wanted to um, correct myself in this video and share some more recent thoughts after hearing a little bit more info. Um, one of you guys sent me in the direction of a vlog that he posted discussing this in more detail. You know, even Peter himself says all the time, I'm a human being and my emotions can change hour to hour or minute by minute. And as you learn new things, your opinion can always change a little bit. That's what happened in this situation. And I also wanna preface this by saying, I think that I speak for a lot of the YouTube audience when I say that the Nikki and Dan Filippi situation story being on YouTube I think it had a profound effect on a lot of us as viewers and as creators as well, where you know, you hear about someone putting down a healthy dog and it erupts emotion and can be upsetting for many people. His dog was aggressive. Now, what I didn't know was that he actually worked with a lot of behavioral uh, trainers and got the dog training. Now, mentioning something like that in passing, that you put a healthy dog down before, even if you pair it with the aggression uh, sort of comments that he paired it with, people are going to look at that as you put a healthy dog down. You said it yourself verbatim in your video. Now, are people going to go and rifle through all of his other vlogs to try to figure out what else happened? No, they're not. But you know, that's also part of the risk that you take when you sort of put things out onto the internet. If you don't want people to take it and run, then you need to give the full scope when you're telling that story. So, okay guys, uh, am I just like in an alternate universe or is her video is, or did she seriously say that in her video? Can you, I just, <laughs> I can't. So, after her first video is put out, which her video is still up at 4,000 views right now. It's still up. Okay? Mind you, Brit gets like one, maybe 2,000 views on a video. Okay? On a regular video that she does. And then, you know, when she does a really big topic or something she's hit, hit the T on, she'll get a boost and get more views. So she has 4,000 views on this. If you go look at her channel, she doesn't have 4,000 views on every video. Um, just saying. She gets a thumb view. Some only get 1,000. Some only 2,000. I'm not saying that views are anything, everything, but I'm just say, giving you some more context here of she really thought, I, in my opinion, okay, she thought she hit the nail on the head like she had something. Her viewer had her back and sent her the tea. Nobody had talked about this, okay? My phone died <laughs> when I was in the middle of that last clip. So pretty much what I'm saying is, you know, the main point here is she took a clip that had no context with it 
made a whole video surrounding it. She didn't bother to even watch the full video that the other creator made just in case it was mentioned again. And not only that, she didn't even bother to go look at the actual video from Peter Mon in that vlog. And then, aside from that, she didn't do any more further research. She said, oh, she couldn't understand why nobody was talking about this. Why didn't anybody bring it up? Like, isn't that a red flag to you? Like, did you just think you hit something and nobody else knew about it? And so she, when she finally realizes that she was in the wrong, she blames Peter Mon. And you can see she literally said, oh, well, his vlogs are too scattered and there's not enough, like, clear titles for you to just look up a name. So because the research wasn't easy for you and there was too much content to go through, that means it's okay to just get on camera and make a video about it with no other info. That's really what she's saying here. If you couldn't find the information on it and you weren't sure, why did you make a video? It makes no sense. And she's literally blaming Peter Mon, saying he didn't give enough information. Mind you, this is like freaking 10 years ago in the first place. Why are you trying to bring something up that happened 10 years ago to cancel somebody? That's the kind of crap that I am so sick of. And she literally said, I hope Peter Mon's fans call him out. So you're literally admitting on camera that you hope he gets hate for this because you're so much better. And then the manipulation starts where she's saying, oh, you know, it's just about the animals, you guys. You know how I feel about animals. To pull on people's heartstrings about animals, she used the Nikki and Dan situation and said, oh, well, after the Nikki and Dan situation happened, you know, it just made everybody just, it affected everybody so profoundly. So she's using that as another excuse Admitting she's wrong and saying she has no problem correcting herself, but then says, however, this is Peter Mon's fault. He should have explained it better. Nobody's going to go looking through his vlogs. But that is the same thing that you call out, Britt. Britt literally calls people out for doing no research, doing no legwork, and being reactionary. That clip I showed you at the beginning is not the first time she said that. She bashes other YouTubers all the time for not doing research and for... T channels doing this and everybody wants their video out first and she doesn't care about that. She's all about holding everybody around her accountable, but she will never actually hold herself accountable. And not to mention the video is still up. She was dead wrong on this. Dead wrong. He did his explanation and actually explained further in another vlog. And when you came to that realization, you, all she did, instead of taking the video down, the right thing to do, in my opinion, would be to remove the video. But why is she going to remove a video that has 4,000 views on it? But she's full of integrity, right? It's not about the views. It's not about, you know, getting content out there first and being the biggest YouTuber. It's not about the views or the money. And her integrity is what's important, right? But her integrity isn't telling her to take the video down. So where's the integrity at, Britt? Where's the integrity for this? Where's the integrity that you claim you have that you make sure you tell everybody else that you have? You literally shove your integrity down your viewers' throats that you're this almighty, you know, moral standard of YouTube and that you are doing everything better than everybody else and you pride yourself on integrity but the video is still up you put a comment in there saying oh here's my updated thoughts no 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 it's not your updated thoughts and your it shouldn't have been part two of my updated thoughts it should have been take the video down make another video apologizing to peter mon for what you did it should be an apology video which you love to tell other people that they should apologize or critique other people's apologies, react to other people's videos, but you're not keeping the same energy holding yourself accountable. You jumped the gun, okay? You literally bash other people for being reactionary, like Tira. We all know that those two videos about the sock puppet accounts were about Tira, okay? Using conflict for content, 
Tira and Bambi were having an issue. Bambi was really upset about the situation. You're supposedly friendly with Bambi, and what do you do? You use it for content and make two videos about it, but you don't say any names, so it doesn't look like you're doing that. Where's the same energy, everybody? Where is the same energy? I'm getting really sick of this. Now, to be fair, I understand that... Um, you know, I think Peter Mon is shady. I think he gets away with a lot of stuff. And I even left a comment with that. And I'm trying to tell you guys, I don't have a vendetta against Brit. I left her a comment in the video, you know what I mean? Trying to support her a little bit because I know it must have sucked really bad to get something like that wrong. And, you know, I wanted to be supportive, but... I went back and the more I'm watching, she's not taking the video down. She didn't take accountability. She made a third video talking about honesty and integrity and saying that if her opinion doesn't line up with other people's, she's going to get bashed for it. No, 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 no. You're not going to play the victim now because you did wrong and you won't own up to it. All you had to do was take the video down and upload a new one explaining and saying, sorry, I'm sorry, I should never have done that. I might have my opinions about what he did, but I should never have pushed that as fact without more information and that be it. No howevers, no buts. I'm sorry, but. I'm sorry, however. That's not taking accountability and Britt has said that herself. When you say I'm sorry and then follow it with an excuse, that's not taking accountability. So Brit herself needs to take, take accountability. And the problem when you are a channel like that, where you're holding everybody else accountable and you have this high moral standard and you literally will make videos canceling people, canceling people. Why I unsubscribed from BX Beast Boy. Why I unsubscribed from Jessica Braun and feeding this to your audience while you're completely writing somebody off because of a situation but what nobody's supposed to write you off Brit everybody's just supposed to let you get off scot-free and if anybody calls you out oh well you're just being honest and people don't like your opinion and you're just the victim unbelievable so please let me know what you guys think um you know I think Peter Mon can be very shady I didn't get to finish that point but there's not much to go on. I've never made a video about Peter Mon. And you know why? Because I have nothing. And anytime he has been called out, he made a video, apologized, and pretty much just says he's learning and growing. So there's not much to go on with him. So she thought she hit the nail on the head, and she didn't. Another thing I think is funny is she kept saying that this flew under the radar, and nobody did a video on it, and there's literally a comment... <laughs> of somebody saying three or four years ago. So this vlog is that old. This, who is going back into, <laughs> I'm sorry, Britt, but you seriously need to question your viewers' intentions because whoever sent you a clip of something that was three or four years old and you ran with that, that's insane. Mysterious T, again, Mysterious T is the one who put this the freaking four-year-old clip up. What are you guys doing? Hold drama channels accountable. Like, is this what it has come to that you can't think of any content? You can't come up with any original ideas? You have to literally pull drama out of your ass? Because that's what you did, Britt. And unless you delete the video and make an apology video, to me, in my opinion, that's not holding yourself accountable. That's not keeping the same energy. And that's not holding yourself to the integrity that you pride yourself on so much. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I just wanted to show you guys, as of right now, you know, the video's still up. It has 4,000 views. She put, please post part two, if you have time, instead of deleting the video. Part two has my final thoughts and more context. And here's people who still believe this narrative. So it's just okay for this video to still be up and people to be coming to it still talking about what's going on. 
and she tells people if they have time to watch part two. This is insane. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I really tried to keep, you know, do my research, put some clips. I'm really proud of this video because I feel like I put some extra work in <laughs> to kind of show you and give you guys a full picture of what I'm trying to say here. I hope I got my thoughts across properly. Um, I love to hear your opinions in the comments. I'm sure some people will disagree with me, but I feel like in this situation, there's really not much to say. Like, it's clear what she did, and if she gets a free pass, I don't want to hear anybody complaining about somebody else doing the same thing. You know what I mean? So, as always, I love you guys. Thanks again. I'm at 1,000 subscribers. I just got monetized. I appreciate you so, so much. And, yeah, I will link Tira Nicole's video down below that she did, BXB Spoys video. I will link my own video down below of other videos I've done. Um, so make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment on your thoughts. I love seeing what you guys say, and I will see you in my next video.